too easy. Spider-Man, I'm too easy. Run it up, boys. There's a lake behind second base, and I'm like, hmm, might go swimming after this win. Why you look so relaxed, man? You just struck out. I just struck out. Get over him. Get over him, baby. Find a barrel, find a way. Let's go. Woo! Oh, shit. We are here. How we doing? We got Jake. We got Fernando making his debut, bro. Hey, let's make it happen. Let's make it happen. <laughs> hey, dude, but look at this field, though, man. It's beautiful, ain't it? <laughs> oh my gosh. There's a lake behind second base, and I'm like, hmm, might go swimming after this win. That's tough, bro. You gonna uh, be in the outfield I'm on this? It's gonna be hard on the ankles. You're gonna kill some gophers. <laughs> oh yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, guys, it's gonna be tough. We don't even know if we're home our way. Hey, but guys, welcome to Game Six, baby. We're out here in uh, Sherman Oaks. Some hitting lessons in the outfield right now. Uh, switching up the fields. Everybody's trickling in. Guys, I guess our right center bomb is just going into the other field. Uh, hey, throwback to when me and Leo went here and hit some tape measure bombs. Flashback. No. 109. Valley boys, baby. Adds that extra nine right there. End of flashback. I thought the other field was bad. This is way worse. We got a lake behind second base out there. The batter's box is like two feet underground. We got a game to play, guys. Come on, can we do a lesson somewhere else? Valley boys, we're worried right now because you know, like, there's no bases on the field right now. And uh, if, you, if you know anything about baseball, you need bases. Hey, we got filmer Jeremy, baby. What's well, good, bro? Hey, uh, look at this field, man. Aren't you glad? Yeah, you're not Dude. playing. You just got the can. <laughs> yeah, man. I mean, I'm just gonna say, just look out for those rocks. I'm not weird on camera. Thomas said I'm weird on camera. Uh, I've seen the YouTube analytics, and there's a direct correlation between manic screen time and the lack of views. Hey. Fernando. Let's go. Guys, I'm not gonna lie. He already gave him the jersey and then he just said, Dad, you gotta back up. I gotta get something. <laughs> Jake, you find a bathroom, bro? Yeah, that, uh, that Mexican spot over there. Are you nice serious? Bathroom. Yeah, I almost dropped some chips and guac, but uh, <laughs> we're getting pretty street. close to game time. <laughs> gotta get some hamstring stretches in. I don't know if we can have chips and guac right now. Okay, game schedule change or game location change. Are you kidding me? Uh, Van Nuys 7 is flooded due to irrigation issues. Games are being moved to Number one. All right, guys, I guess I guess due to flooding, we're changing fields. Turns out we were at the wrong field the whole time. Lesson learned. I got to check emails Sunday mornings for emergency field switches. I actually really like that field. Right? See you on Balboa. All right, guys, we're going to get there at 12.50, um, right before, 10 minutes before game time. But yeah, we got a whole uh, line of Valley Boys right here. <laughs> I think, boys, this is my third field today. Gio just canceled on me right now. So I got a text from a random number. I guess it's his cousin. I guess he got in a brawl. Dude, he's at the hospital. But a uh, random text to get when it's five minutes before game time, boys. Hey right, guys, we're, we're calling Gio right now. Gio. <laughs> that was that. Alright guys, we just got to the new field. Yeah, we need to throw. We got T minus eight minutes until game time. We got switched over to a shittier field. Look, I don't even have my pants on. I'm in the <laughs> Lulus. Hey, it's 59, bro. Get your pants on. Dude, listen, the Lulus are still on, okay? <laughs> They're not coming off. We got one minute to game time. I'm still not warmed up. I haven't even picked up my glove or put on my cleats yet. Valley Boy Sun Hilly, baby. Alright guys, a little sloppy, but it is game time. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, join the Valley Boys. Oh, first, let's get it, baby. Cue the montage. I just flat out swung and missed right there. I guess I got that softball swing still. Gotta make an adjustment, I don't know. I'm a little ashamed of myself. Threw me a curveball for a strike and I buckled like a baby. <laughs> hey, I, I did it too though, bro. We'll be the buckle brothers. Well, actually, I, I, I didn't buckle, I just swung and missed. I buckled like a baby. How's the water taste? A little salty. Then it was time for the bottom of the first. It was Fernando's debut. He's the homie from Dodger Films. Yeah, we had Thomas Keller on the bump. He's not really a pitcher, but he throws absolute fuzz as you can tell by this strikeout. He then let in a base knock to left field, then went right back at it with the strikeout and a pop fly to our shortstop, Jake Bear. Thomas Keller pulled a Shohei Otani today and went from the pitcher's mound to the batter's box and led the inning off with a base hit. Our catcher, Chris Minnick, laced a ball up the middle. And with TK's heads up base running, seeing the choppy grass, he went from first to third, which was absolutely 
absolutely clutch because the next hitter was my brother Nikki K. Yeah, Minik knew he needed to make something happen and got himself into a rundown. Yeah, he stayed in it as long as he possibly could, and Thomas ended up scoring. So that was the first run to score of the game. Yeah, Minik ended up getting tagged out, but that's okay because the run scored and uh, Nikki K ended up having a weak pop up to the second baseman. Yo, Minik, what was up with that pickle, dude? I was gonna get you in for an, a ribby, and you start running a pickle. So I saw who was up. Uh, Thought. <laughs> <laughs> the only chance uh, we get a run here is if it makes something happen myself. And I also didn't want to run the bases, so yeah. it worked out. I don't know if a pop-up the second gets the guy in from first there. So. <laughs> oh, if he had a really good hop on it, maybe it does. A really good hop on it. <laughs> As Fernando ended up grounding out for his first at-bat with the Valley Boys, it was time to take the field for the bottom of the second. Yeah, Thomas went right back to work. He got a pop fly to right field where I made the play. And then when he got two strikeouts in a row, getting us back to the dugout. I guess we got a new arm. I think that he saw a coach coming up and he didn't want to face that smoke. That's what I think, plain and simple. <laughs> That's definitely what it was. <laughs> there it is. They're scared of you, coach. They're scared of you. Hey, follow Coach Kinez, by the way, on TikTok. In his third game with the Valley Boys, since coming out of retirement, you know Coach Kinez had a lead off the inning with a single. That ball was absolutely laced. Dude, we got Coach Kinez getting a little base knock. Bro, love to see it. Then Alex Saavedra hit a ground ball, and as the fielder bobbled it, you know he had to give that hard 90, which was huge because the Valley Boys' hottest hitter, Jake Bear, got a base knock. I low-key thought that was a bomb, but uh, yeah, got right in front of the left fielder. Ended up scoring Coach Kinez hustling around third base to score the second run of the game for the boys, and I came up with runners on first and second. We have one out, boys. Here we go. Here we go! Ball. That's slightly out, but that's low-key Sunday league strike. Here we go. Ooh, I honestly should have hit that the other way. Turn! <laughs> Little dust tornado. Oh, now it's coming to me. Oh, no. All right, dust tornado is gone. Here we go. We've got one ball. Let's strike. Ball two. It's a little in. I can't wear that, bro. We do have ice, so I could have used that. Save the ice for the Capri Suns. Oh, that's out. Come on. Get over him. Get over him, baby. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Easy double. Throw it home. Let's go, baby. Hey, find a barrel, find a way. Let's go. Then right after my at bat, Thomas absolutely laced the ball in the gap. That's a gap and a half. Let's go. All right, we're storming, we're storming, we're storming. Easy four, easy four. We're still hustling now, just in case. Okay, cool. We're up, we're up. Let's go, baby. Babe, yeah, babe. Up, babe. Go Valley Boys, huh, baby, yeah. And the umpire was getting chirped at and decided he had enough. What just happened, bro? Dude, this guy at second base was just beefing with the umpire. Yeah, he's low-key um, chirping, bro. He doesn't like the calls. the field, dude. I've never seen this on a baseball field. <laughs> you don't want to mess with him. <laughs> it's hard, bro. He doesn't get paid enough to deal with that. <laughs> yeah. We got a Chris Minnick up here. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Laces one up the middle. Thomas sees it through. Ooh, oh, outfielder oh. traps it. That's not really how they teach that. But Let's go, Nikki. Runners at the corners here, and we got Nikki K coming up. You can't really tell, but... He's been one of the offensive leaders across the board. We'll we'll check in on the stats on screen right here. Ooh, okay, maybe the umpire is a little questionable. That was that was down and out. And then Nikki unfortunately struck out, but he was a little too cheerful in the dugout. Hey Nikki, why well, you look so relaxed, man? You just struck out. I didn't strike out. Boy, if you don't get Last night he told me that he went to Saddle Ranch. He said he got a little lucky. Just know it's in West Hollywood. <laughs> now, I may have been at Saddle Ranch, and I may have been there a little late, but there was nothing going on. He told me he was riding a bull. That's why I can't hit today? That's oh, why you can't hit today. Because you hit last night. <laughs> 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 then the Valley Boys got the hit parade going. Leading off, we had Coach Kinez lacing a single up the middle. Hey, he's been fitting into this Valley Boys college lineup like he never skipped a beat. Coach Kinez is uh, raking. Two for three, yeah, two absolute doing. barrels. After Coach, we had Alec hitting a ball into the gap, scoring Coach Kinez, hustling his butt over to second while Dante stayed at third. And then what do you know, I came up with runners on second and third with an opportunity to keep on padding the lead. After crushing a fastball for a double my last at bat, I got a bunch of curveballs. And you know what? I actually made the adjustment, hit the curveball up the middle for a single to pick up an RBI. So yeah, make an adjustment, love to see it. Then it was time for Chris Minnick to lace a single up the middle, going three for three so far in this game. Yeah, the UCLA bullpen catcher is hot right now, dude. Scored an RBI, then we ended up flipping it after three outs, of course. It was time for Thomas Keller to keep on shoving. Yeah, if you think about it, it was kind of insane. He literally just rolled out the car onto the field and just absolutely car. My man was striking out like everybody. All right, guys, top five. We're currently not in mercy rule contention. Yeah, we need five more runs. This inning is gonna happen. Yeah, this inning, bro. We're going for four to this at bat. I'm telling you right now. We're gonna clip it. Um, probably strike out, but <laughs> I dove and I got a little raspberry. Yeah, it's gonna be so sexy to wear that with shorts out at the beach. That's a moldy raspberry. That thing can't I know. It's raspberry. It hurts. 
Curve. First pitch curveball. I did not want that. Second pitch curveball. See how it goes. Oh yeah! In peace! We're going for four, baby! We're going for four! Let's go! No fing way! Are you shitting me? He caught that? Nuts, dude! Absolutely nuts! Yeah, after Dante absolutely got robbed, Alec ran into one, hit it over the center fielder, so he got a little bit more of a lucky break. The kid was blazing down the line, so yeah, he turned that into a triple. Following that up, Jake Bear hit an oppo taco bomb. Pretty much onto the other field, probably hit it at least 380 feet. Yeah, we're playing on a field with no fence, so it's hard to tell, but definitely would have been out anywhere we played. He absolutely tattooed a ball right center too, man. Probably the furthest oppo bomb I've ever seen. Steven Gonzalez just texted said he put the wrong alarm. Game. <laughs> 1 p.m. game. What alarm do you have? Because Thomas was carving, Fernando started making dance moves to the camera, but he had to lock right back in because Jake had to make a running throw that pulled Fernando off the bag, and the newbie first baseman made the play. I've never played first base before, and as you guys can see, I did pretty well. Jake Bear was showing off his range at shortstop, ranged to his left, did a spin move on the run, and made the play, dude. Oh, a little behind the back flip to Dante. The New Mexico State alum was clutching up for the Valley Boys. Thomas keeping the show rolling, getting a pop up, making it look nonchalant, bringing us to the top of the eighth. <laughs> I might not even have to do anything. Like, for real. I'm just standing at first base looking good. Pretty sure he's going to start me off again with a first pitch curveball. We're coming after it. First pitch. We're swinging. Oh, we're going two. That's only a double. Dude. Oh, I got so much dust on me. Oh, <laughs> I am so dirty. I need a bath. Then Alec had a sack fly to center field. You know Dante had a score. I'm not down. I'm not down. It's too easy. Spider-Man, I'm too easy. Ah! Woo! Run it up, boys. As the game was winding down, I found another barrel, hit a single down the line. You know, was finally seeing the ball, so uh, yeah, made some adjustments since the first at bat. And Nikki K got in on some of the action. For some reason, ran straight through the bag, even though it was a clean hit to left field. <laughs> Why do you look lost over there? I'm not lost. <laughs> he looks lost and sad. He's just a catcher that has heat stroke. Yeah, the Valley Boys were out of energy. We just had to put him away. And this, bro. Put us out of our misery. I'm tired of just standing around. It's all you. <laughs> yeah. Jake Bear continued to make the epic plays, dude. On the run, little sidearm action. Yeah, he's trying to get out of here just as much as everybody else. But a uh, little miscommunication action in the outfield. Prolonged the inning a little bit, as you can see me with my hands up, wondering what the heck happened. Then Thomas got the Zolos to pop up to Fernando for the final out, securing the Valley Boys dub. It was an 11 to four ball game, could not get the mercy rule. So yeah, we played a full nine. Continuing the undefeated streak. <laughs> hey, that Valley Boys dub. Uh, let's go, baby. Another one, another one. That is gonna be the end of the game. We ended up winning 11 to 4. Let's go, baby. Yes, sir. We played nine innings, which is not good. We usually play five because of the mercy rule. Chris Minnick, four for five. It's kind of incredible, especially because, like, no one expected that out of Minnick. MVP, who's your pick? I think it's me. I'm the best on the team. I'm not a humble guy at all. MVP has to go to Thomas. Anytime a pitcher throws a complete game, you gotta give it to him. Probably 140 pitches. That's old school right there. How's your arm? It's terrible. It's uh, I can't feel it. I'm holding it with the other arm because it'll just uh, fly out if I let go of it. MVP of the game goes to Minnick and Thomas, bro. Let's, Let's go. go. We got the duel. We got the battery and a half right there. How are you? Minnick went four for five. Thomas went a complete nine innings, bro. Dishing, bro. We got Dishin, Gordon baby. Ramsey out here. Up at the <laughs> Cooking now, baby. Cooking. Yeah, absolutely shoved. Okay, guys, that's going to be the end of the video today. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Join the Valley Boys. And yes, sir. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. I'm worried a snake is gonna come out of this grass right now. Bite the shit out of me. Yep, good. Ooh! Cut that, cut that.